was working late in the lab one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise he did the mash he did the monster mash the monster mash it was a graveyard smash he did the mash it caught on in a flash he did the mash he did the monster mash oh. from my laboratory in the castle east oh. to the master bedroom where the vampires feast oh. the ghouls all came from their humble abodes oh. to get a jolt from my electrodes they did the mash they did the monster mash the monster mash it got on in a flash they did the mash they did the monster mash just begun. The guests included the Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. Now everything's cool, Drac's a part of the band, and my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, the mash is meant to. When you get to the door, say the double click sent you. Then you can mash, then you can monster mash. Graveyard smash. Smash, smash! You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. Oh. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. Do my graveyard smash. smash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. And do the monster mash. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Hey everybody, welcome to the Double Clicks Google Hangout Machine. Thank you for joining us for a special Halloween edition. Happy Halloween! I'm Angela, this is my sister Aubrey on the banana. <laughs> I'm a banana. <laughs> and uh, this is a Pac-Man ghost we tried to make out of post-it notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you haven't been to one of these, here's how it works. Please participate in the chat or on Twitter with the hashtag DoubleClicksLive. And we will periodically check in in those places during the show to say hi. Um, if you don't have anything particular to talk about, why don't you get on Twitter with the hashtag DoubleClicksLive or in the chat and tell us what you're doing for Halloween. Or maybe yeah. send us a selfie of you trying on your costume or something. Angela has... <laughs> I'm a monster! <laughs> Bull thing. It's eating my face. <laughs> anyway, hi. Uh, let's see, what do we do now? Oh, we're gonna play more songs. Yay! Songs and songs. Oh! <laughs> Something <laughs> else fell during that song. That was my oh, man, we have uh, an amazing show for you tonight. Uh, we're gonna have special guests uh, Sarah Donner and Joseph Scrimshaw, who are amazing yeah. people and are friends, and we're very excited to have them on. So, we're gonna play a few songs, and then we're gonna check in with the chat. But I'm just gonna make sure that there are no disasters. Oh, I like your uh, your thing. Okay, there we go. Now my cello has a costume. Use a post-it note. Some people are saying hello from Florida. Hello from Portland. Hello everybody. Um, and it looks like it's working for most of you. Some of you are getting an error, but I can't help you with that because then you can't even see me if I were to be helping you. What were you doing? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we're going to be, this is actually pretty much an all requests show. Other than that, we ask people to request songs on our Facebook page. Uh, so, and Twitter and stuff. This is a requested song. This is a love song about supervillains. <laughs>
friends tell me I'm losing my grip But I want you to know that I care You've got lasers and I've got feelings Your lonely heart could use some healing You've got lasers and I've got feelings for you You've got lasers and I've got feelings Why are bad boys so appealing? Nothing more fun than washing myself right now. <laughs> so, thank you. All right. This is our morning show mug from the ladies at Ragnarok Tour. Have you guys seen this? We made this because we decided to have... Oh, maybe we should chat. All right, when we chat later, we'll use this. Okay. okay. <laughs> when, we, when we become a morning chat show and pass judgment on people... All right, uh, we have another. This was a highly requested song, yes. um, and it has it has a backing track oh, yeah. made by Mike Furman off of our latest album. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Oh, you got it. Okay. Uh, this is a song called "Unstoppable Force," and it sort of is about a physics problem, but mostly it's about the internet. And being a young woman in a creative endeavor when people just keep wanting to give you advice. Is this working? Do I look good? Yeah. Uh, I am checking the tweets. Some people are being very helpful. Thank you. Most of them are saying they've never seen a banana play the cello before. Uh, <laughs> Me neither. That was Steven. Yeah, Steven, this is record-breaking. Somebody get Guinness on the phone. All right. <laughs> Are your horns on the way? There you go. Oh, hold on. I actually have to... We're working on it. Do -do -do -do. It's all coming together now. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
an unstoppable force And you're an immovable object You've got tips on locations You've been there before You think I shouldn't be on my own anymore I don't want your tips I don't care that they're free You've been around but you've never been me tracks in circles inside that old rat race. I don't know where I'm going, though I certainly care. If I win or I fail, I hope you aren't there. If you were creative, productive, or smart, if you demonstrated you knew how to art, I would listen. But you barely leave your own station. You've only got mass, I have acceleration. I'm gonna go to the chat right now, so here we go. Oh, going to the chat. I hope that sounded like I wanted it to sound. Hi, everybody. Alrighty. String, 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 string. Banana bow. That's what Thomas says. That's really funny, Thomas. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head forever. I had it stuck in my head since I put on the costume. Ooh, somebody. Do to do. People are talking about drinks ideas. Ooh. Banana cello. Ah, get it? Because it's like lemon cello, but banana cello. I think banana cello would taste really good in a mat a mudslide. That's really funny. Uh, <laughs> Alright, most of these are just banana jokes that I just want to tell. Uh because I think they can read them though, right? I know you guys can read them, so. Um we are not taking requests right now, but we will take them for the next show. Because we only know so many songs. Um, but thank you for requesting Now I'm the Fastest. That's my favorite song. Yeah. And I'm glad that you guys like it. I just don't know how to play it. All right, here we go over to the Twitter. Been a while. Can Aubrey hear okay? Headphones over costume looks neat but tricky. It's working. We've turned them up very loud. <gasps> oh, and some people are sending us pictures of their cats. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I hope your cats are enjoying the show. I hope very much so. Oh, I'm glad that the thumbnail for the... Is us putting on our headphones. It took a while. Oh, here's what people are doing for Halloween. I'm feeding shelter kitties, then going trick-or-treating with friends. That sounds awesome. Wow! We're going to a Halloween party. We are very excited. Yes. Awesome. Alright, well, if you have any questions, put them in the chat, because that's more interesting than us just reading, unless they're banana jokes. <laughs> Got any more banana jokes, Angela? Banana jokes, anybody? Thanks, Curtis. Somebody said uh, it's good that we have a banana for scale. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty happy about this banana costume, you guys. Yes, thank you, Ted. I am getting your information about Sarah. And people are asking if we're playing Pexies next year. King Slime. King Slime? King Slime. We don't know. But if you want us to, Pax is a good people to tell that to. Yes. There's nothing in this. <laughs> Way to ruin the illusion, Angela. Alright, we're going to play one more requested song. No, we're going to play... Uh, the only unrequested song. The only unrequested song. And because it's special Halloween, we have a special Halloween version of Maximilian, our cat keyboard. See, he's wearing a costume. So sneaky. If you don't know, this is our cat keyboard. You can get one at Target, and it sounds like this. I think it's okay just like this. Yeah, just as close as you want to get. Oh, okay. You're great. But, yeah. Like... <laughs> Adjust for cat keyboard! Here we go. Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. Here we go.
keyboard. Doctor Who. Get it. Halloween. Good work, Alex. <laughs> now I've got to get your get your hat back in there. Get my top of my banana. Atop your banana. Okay. We are playing one more song, and then we have our very first special guest calling in. Hooray! So, uh, yeah, here is a requested song. This is a song about love and literature based on a true story. Imagine it's about a banana. Are you doing okay? Yeah. If you ever need to de-banana, I know it's... Very warm. Yeah, it's really very warm in here. Yes. I'm wearing several hats. Yes. And not just figuratively in my role as a... <laughs> oh, gosh. So many hats. All right. I am going to... What's the time to do? It's time to text Sarah. Text Sarah. Send them a text to Sarah. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun? I know I am. I'm gonna put this in the computer. 
Do 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 do. Hey. You guys yep. are still just making banana puns, and I. They just, just needed the opportunity. I know. This is just. This is your moment, everybody. You all had a bunch of banana jokes. None of you have monster jokes. It's like I might, uh, might as well have not have sent Aubrey to the Halloween store to buy me a costume. Ah. Oh God. This <laughs> banana is awkward. There we go. Oh yes, we have to put on our headphones to hear Sarah. Yep. That's what I'm working on. And then we also have to get close to you. Hello. Oh, I showed them off, off camera. Oh. I didn't mean to. Whoops. Now they'll know all of our secrets. So our first guest is, uh, we're probably louder now. Can you still hear us? Yes. Okay. Our first guest is an awesome person and a cool friend. But before she gets here, I'm going to check some tweets. Oh, there she is. But she disappeared. Oh, boy. We're working on it. She'll click it again. There, she did it again. Don't All push right. the bu red button. Whatever. Don't push the red button. Our, our, uh, this is a person we met because of cats. Yeah, and she's you. really great. And ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Donner. Did it work? Hi, Sarah. Hi. Oh, do I need, I need to check my settings. Oh, nope, they're good. I think You're good, good. yeah. I can good. hear you. You sound great. Ooh, can hi. you get any louder? I uh, can. Hold on. You can? I, I can turn my mic up. How about... Nice. Cool. hey -o! Yeah. hey -o! Is that better? Okay. Yes. Awesome. Hi. Hi. I gave you a really terrible introduction. Uh, Sarah Donner is a singer-songwriter. She is on the East Coast, and we really like her. And also, unrelated to how amazing and talented she is, she also has a lot of cats. That, that go, it's part of the package, definitely. Oh, we were going to dress one up, so I'm going to be Louise for Halloween. Yeah. Love it. Specifically, nice. Louise as Edward Scissorhands. As I, as yeah, I see it. Ep yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on that. But I have decided to see if I could find a kitten that I might be able to dress up. All right, so this is, um, this is Ray <laughs> Charles. Hey, Ray Charles. There we go. Oh. Oh, shenanigans. Ah! He's like, no hats for me. Wait a minute. All right, so Ray Charles is one of my foster kittens. And... Yes! Oh, no. Oh, yes. no. The best. There we go. So he's available Thank for you, adoption. Sarah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you're in New Jersey. Oh, wait, this one. This is Buddy Holly. He's... Oh! Oh, so Yeah, he's... He's oh, fat. <laughs> they do yeah. that. They poop too. It's awesome. Yeah. What are you yeah. doing for Halloween, Sarah? I I have a I have a party. You know, just a party. So I'm gonna go to a party and put duct tape on my on my ears and be Edward Scissorhands slash Louise Belcher. Yay. That's my big plan. That and, sounds amazing. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to mention that I'm under quarantine um, by Governor Christie right now for Ebola. Oh, so, wow. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey. Is that Michael? This is what we do in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have cats and, an, uh, yeah. We have cats and a bola and a governor. Yeah. So. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Sarah, uh, we would love to ask you to... <laughs> Is your doctor okay? Do you need to check in? Are you all right? <laughs> We're okay. Can we go on? Okay, okay cool. We can I can't go. catch Ebola through the internet, I guess. Um, we would love to ask you to play a song for us. Would you be willing to do that? I don't know if you have a guitar in your lap already or anything. Oh, look at that. How convenient. All right, Sarah, tell us about the song you're going to play. Sure. Uh, I, wrote, I wrote a song... Um, called The Longest Road. It's about my character flaw um, when I play Settlers of Catan. And um, it has yet, has yet to be recorded, but uh, that's, that's one of my, my Christmas holiday plans for the internet is to have the song ready to go. So I'll, I'll, I'll play that. If that's okay, if I have your blessing. But the banana blessing. Please do. Are far when you know where you are when you're starting. 
starting the longest You look down at all your cards. You're played out and it's so hard. Brick and wood are what you need. A city sits inside your hand and houses still aren't on your land. And no one wants your fucking sheep. And you won't settle in wasting on settlements. Cause you're building the longest road in the points they could swing the year of plenty when you're starting the longest row so roll the dice and make a trade because that's how you play the game lead yourself to victory the robbers placed upon your grave you don't need it anyway, and still no one wants your stupid sheep. And you're not one to fight, so you pass on the night. Just keep building the longest road. It's unlikely you'll win, but you cannot give in when you're playing the longest that has the um, audience participation. Uh, that makes it difficult in a chat room, but perhaps my sexy Ebola worker back there in the bed bug will give me a little hand. Can you guys sing with me, please? Oh, and a kitten. Get yeah, ready, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. One more time, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. And I wrote this on tour. Could it be metaphor? I ninety five. Sorry. <laughs> I clapped really loud. Sorry. Sarah, that was amazing. I love that song so much. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, um, Banana and Monster Man. Mash. Mashy Lady. Monster Mash Lady. Yes. Yay. Happy Halloween, Every guys. You Happy too. Halloween. Everybody check out Sarah Donner at sarahdonner.com. Is that right? Yes. That is right. Yes. She's the very best, and she does live stream concerts too, so if you never want to leave your house, you can watch her as well from a, on occasion. Yes. Yes. Without pants. It'll be great. Okay. Bye, Bye Sarah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yay, that was Sarah Daughter. Sorry for clapping really loud, everybody. <laughs> I got excited. Um, uh, okay, I have I have an actual question now from Twitter. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but if you actually want to ask us a question, I think Twitter is the place uh, because uh, I can actually keep up with it. So there you go. Uh, someone asked, is our favorite Dr. Peter Capaldi? Aubrey. He's a good one. I'm enjoying Peter Capaldi as the doctor. That's my answer. That's your wisdom. Oh, do you have your mug? Oh, thank you. And that's your piece of wisdom for today. Ding! <laughs> thank you guys for watching. We're having a really good time. Don't know if you can tell. I am, I'm reading your comments, even though I'm not reading them out loud. Uh, Sarah Donner is the best. So, we're going to play a few more songs. More songs! And then we have more guests. Okay, Abby. My song for my guests. Bye. Can we see your banana? Can you oh, see my this. banana? Oh, I need this later. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Everything's fine.
fine. <laughs> it's all okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now, do we have a pick? Oh, yes, I do. All right, and I don't need that. Hello. Um, this next song is a song about sexism in the nerd community. We are against it. And we are pro awesome ladies and awesome people. So, in addition to ladies. Um, uh, it, you know, this was written about the fake geek girl thing that was happening, and there's a lot of stuff. But here's the deal. Uh, this is, it, 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 geek is fun, and, um, don't be a jerk, and, uh, everybody can enjoy things, and also talk about them. So, is that vague and good? Cool. <laughs> Aubrey's dressed like a banana. Banana! And, uh, and we love you guys, and we love the internet, and how it allows us to do this. Isn't that cool? Isn't technology magical? <laughs> um, I so hope you great. get out your lighter and sing along. I am really happy, by the way, that the Google Chat YouTube thing is allowing the most amazing cat emojis. Oh, Like, wow. do you see the really cute I cat emojis? Them. Yeah. Those are nice. How is that? I don't even... I feel like that was just... <laughs> like, my life is complete now. I feel like everything has led up to this point. All right, do you have, we have space? Yes. Here we go.
Aubrey's dressed as a banana. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, break music, Agent Colson, everybody. <laughs> All right, well, uh, <laughs> what else are we doing? Oh man, we've had a good time. Uh, last time we did a live stream, we were on tour. That's right. Um, and then we got home and we took a break. And I started an account at a coffee shop. What? What does that even Because I was mean? like, I'm gonna be here so much and leave my house during the day sometimes. It's like having a tab or something? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then, oh, today I threw pumpkins off of a, a uh, high school. We have a friend who's a high school teacher. And he texted me last night like, I need help bringing pumpkins to a roof. I was like, okay, you could just say you needed to dispose of a body. We, like, nobody's watching our text. Um, and then we had to climb up the stairs and then into this creepy attic, and uh, which he did not know had lights. It actually did, thank oh, goodness. Like, wow. it would have been pitch black. And then we, um, uh, and we went to the top of the school, and then all the children uh, watched us throw stuff off of a building. Were the children not allowed to throw those things? No, they were there. No, they did it, too. They were there, and they also threw things. Did they have to do with physics? It was. It was something about velocity, upward and downward velocity, like, they threw things, and it was physics. It was very fun. I recommend throwing pumpkins. <laughs> and you can take that to the bank. Or the coffee know, shop. Mug? I don't know. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, pumpkin stuff. It's fun. I love fall. You like fall, Aubrey? I love it. I think I'm getting like the seasonal uh, stuff where you get sad. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the same time, I really like it when uh, I've been watching. I got my cats in Netflix, you guys. And now you have a monster hat. And now I have a monster hat. And I have a banana dress. Oh, I have. Uh, my tights have cats on them. They really do. They're amazing tights. My friend gave me uh, four pairs of tights, and two of them have cats on them. <laughs> Happy Good birthday to friend. me. Yeah. We love cats. Cats are great. Any cats in the chat? Chat cats? Uh, they are not asking questions, but they are being encouraging and ha building a community within themselves. <laughs> this is the best, guys. And you guys, I just love looking over there because you're having fun, and I want to be in that chat room. But I have to be here. Somebody's got to wear the monster hat. Somebody's got to uh, these horns. Okay. <laughs> It makes a noise inside my head, that's why I keep doing it, because it's very satisfying, but I should stop. All right, we're going to play one more song, and then we have our last guest, and, um, and more songs. And more songs. So thank you for watching. This was requested. I didn't write down who requested the songs. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having fun. We're having fun. We're the Double Clicks. You are watching the Double Clicks, live on YouTube.com. <laughs> and sweet and you're an immature loser with friends who are unreasonably violent. You and I are kind of like Jim and Pam, season one, in that I have a job and a boyfriend and you have a kind of weird thing with Jello. In these stories we want to know, will they or won't they? But with us, I know the answer, we won't. Troy and Riker, and that I'm good at what I do. 
when you are usually useless. See, I switch it up that time. In these stories, we want to know, will they or won't they? But with us, I know the answer. We won't. What did Agent Coulson think of that one? What? What did Coulson think of that song? Oh, let's see. Oh, I did, forgot. I didn't know you had to put down your cello to ask. Phil? That's very good. Well done. Good work, ladies. Sounds just like him. I know. I feel like he would say ma'am. He says ma'am ma a lot. It's very proper. I am texting our next guest. Some people would be like, why don't you have an assistant to do this for you? And to them I say, you probably don't exist. You're just in my mind. You're just me wishing that I had someone to help. Okay. She does all the work by herself. No, that's not true. Aubrey is the, Aubrey, we've been shipping t-shirts, by the way. Uh, we have t-shirts and tote bags on the doubleclicks.com. Yeah. Uh, and currently, if you use the code Halloween or Halloween, uh, you'll get money off until the end of tomorrow. And we will ship you a shirt. Aubrey will ship it for you. I will. Um, we are now going to be joined by our next guest. Headphone time! Who is literally one of my favorite people in the world. Aubrey also is. So is this ghost. Who could it be? Ooh, somebody suggested you and I are like Tony Stark and Coulson. <laughs> you must follow the same tumblers I do. <laughs> oh, oh, he was there and then he was gone. And then he's back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome very funny comedian, writer, person from the internet. Oh, is he here? Is he here or is it just an illusion? Uh... When we can, we will welcome. welcome. He's in. He's he's here. He's not here. It's a mystery. All right, we'll he's get there. Uh, Josh Klaus says, "What are you doing for Halloween tomorrow? We're gonna wear these costumes and do basically the same thing, except we're just going to a party." Oh yay! Oh, it, it, he keeps. I think if we look to don't look directly at him. Uh, Cat Polly. Somebody said it's like <laughs> Doctor <laughs> the Doctor Who. And accept. What do you have, Aubrey? It's our friend. Hello. You and I are like Tony Stark and Coulson because I'm super rich and Loki stabs you. That doesn't work with the, like the meter of the song. Uh, but thank you, Barry Allen and Thomas Harrison. I like it when the banana suit pushes up and Aubrey looks like banana must prime. <laughs> Do we have our guess? Oh gosh, what is happening? Something it's a is call that can't connect. We are. We tested this earlier. We promise. Do to do is me texting an entertaining thing to watch. I'm trying to dance. He's looking at... <gasps> All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Scrimshaw, you're here. Can you Hello. Hear can you hear us, Joseph? Yes, I can. Okay, we can hear you and we can see you. You can? You can see me? Yes. yes. Yay. So can, so can all of the nerds, so watch out. Oh, good. I feel like I should look behind me, but I know they're not behind me. <laughs> but I feel like they are. Some of them might, some of them might be behind you. Um, eh, there's always a nerd somewhere. <laughs> they're always... It's always a nerd behind you, so, uh, happy hour, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how's it going, Joseph? Good, good. I have a cape. Can you see my cape? Oh, wow! That is a wonderful It's very cape. red and exciting. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's I think so it's the kind of cape Peter Capaldi would wear. Yes. Yeah. Or Catpaldi. Dark on the outside and then red. <laughs> Catpaldi, yes. <laughs> We, most of our audience interaction has just been banana and cat puns today, so we're we're in. yes we're winning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you like Halloween, Joseph? Oh, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. What What do you usually do? Not much anymore. Uh, I just like the spirit 
<laughs> of Halloween. Uh, and my wife and I have a nice tradition of, you know, we, we hang out together and we watch spooky movies and whatnot. Um, and now that we're in Los Angeles, we're in a neighborhood where there will probably be a lot of very tipsy people in ridiculous costumes. Uh, yeah. So I might stand on my balcony and just watch the tipsy people. Yeah, and be like, I'm so glad I'm not down there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, they can't throw up on me down there or something. I really, really hope they can. I'm on the fourth floor, so... <laughs> Um, do you have fond, Do you have uh, like a, a costume you wore as a kid that you have a fond memory of, or any uh, Halloween? All memories? of my costumes were crappy. They were always crappy. Uh, my first crappy costume is that I wanted to be Robin the Boy Wonder, um, and but it was cold out, so my mom wanted me to wear a, a red shirt with long sleeves and uh, jeans that were green, but there were jeans, and then I just had like a yellow dirty pillowcase around my neck. Uh, and she also didn't want me to wear a mask, so I didn't feel like I really looked like Robin. But then yeah. it, my brother was going to dress up as Batman, uh, but he refused to dress up as Batman and instead dressed up as Humphrey Bogart. Wow. Oh. So we were Humphrey Bogart and Robin. That sounds amazing. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, some of the people in the chat are saying you're echoing, but I don't think that's true, but I can't tell. So I give up. I give up on everything. I will um, try not to echo. Yeah, could you just say things one time instead of... I will try to say things only once instead of my normal habit of repeating myself. Sort of a live retweet of myself that I do. <laughs> kind of bump is it obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, Joseph, could you... Do you have... Uh, I know you're a com comedy person. Um, would you... W and, and a writer. And like do you have anything person. that you can... Uh, and a writer. What are you drinking out of? Yeah, what are you drinking out of? Oh, this is a spooky oh, no. go goblet. My white goths. This is an excellent. I know we 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 lost you right in the middle of spooky goblet, and we're gonna wait for you to come back. It uh, but... Joseph. Oh yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay, uh, we got spooky I'm here. goblet. And then, and That's then all gonna, you need. Okay. It's a spooky goblet for goths. Sure. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, Joseph, would you read us some things? I understand you have prepared something for us this evening. What is it? <laughs> yes, I have prepared something. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have several very short horror stories. I have seven short horror stories. So they're kind of terrifying. So brace yourself. Get ready with oh. your cat emojis that okay. express fear and terror. <laughs> okay. Horror story number one. You get a phone call. The call is coming from someone who could have sent a text or an email. Spooky! Pretty spooky, right? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> you know it's spooky when a banana says, oh, no. <laughs> spooky story number two. Once there was a guy who was like a werewolf, except instead of turning into a wolf during the full moon, he became a jerk at random times. That guy is me. I am a wear jerk. Spooky! <laughs> Thank you, banana. <laughs> Story number three. It was a dark and stormy night. Three dudes got together in a basement and talked about their favorite movies, but they didn't record it as a podcast. Spooky! <laughs> not even possible. No, not possible. This is the scariest one. Story number four. This one time worked my life. Spooky! It's very spooky. Hold on, you need to say that one again because it cut out like you're a ghost in the middle. All right, <laughs> you ready? Yes. I had to pick up my paper from the floor. Oh, no. uh, I'm sorry. Spooky story number four. This one time I worked at Kinko's for three years of my life. Spooky. There funny. we go. Thank you. Now the banana reacted. <laughs> That's going to be my new litmus test as a performer. Did a banana react? <laughs> then we're good. Story number five. It's important to remember the monster is not named Frankenstein. The scientist is named Frankenstein. The monster's name is actually Chad Lonely Pants. Sad. That one's kind of a sad story. Yeah. It's spooky in that it's so sad. 
Sure. Uh, story number six. I printed each one of these stories out on a separate page, which I now realize is a horrible waste of paper, and I feel <laughs> truly guilty about it. Spooky! <laughs> Sorry, trees. Uh, and this is the last one. Are you ready? Is the banana ready? Uh, hold on. Let me check. Banana? Uh, I think she's scared, Banana's but... bracing for terror. <laughs> the final spooky story. If you look at WebMD, you will think you're going to die in seven days. Spooky! <laughs> I, I love your stories, Joseph. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I like okay. spooky. Yay. Uh, Joseph Scrimshaw, everybody, find him on the internet and on Patreon and Yay. on Twitter, right? Yep, all those places. And yeah, Ello. Right. Or if you're already standing behind him in his house watching this live stream, just go say hi, right? <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Aww. There's nobody in your house, probably. Like, you would know. I mean... That would be scary, because my wife is supposed to be here. Oh, no. Something, something the whole time. <laughs> Uh, I just want you to know, Joseph, because I know you're not watching uh, the comments right now, uh, that mm -hmm. there are so many scared uh, cat emojis, <laughs> like, possible. Yes. Like, I didn't... <laughs> well, I can like... retire now. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody posted a hairy heart, and that's that's the best. So. Aww. Like a pig snout. Maybe that's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I will check these out. I'll check out these emojis. Uh Everybody, thank you so much to Joseph Scrimshaw for joining us. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> In his fabulous goblet. In his fabulous goblet. Um, yay. Okay, yes. Joseph Scrimshaw is super funny, and we are actually in the process right now. This is a this is a scoop scoop of putting together a New Year's Eve show in Portland. So if you are in Portland and you want something to do on New Year's Eve, you may be able to come hang out with us and uh, count down to the new year. I'm very excited about that because it sounds like it's going to be fun to hang, fun time. I usually don't have. For a really long time, we were always in like a scary limo on the way home, like not not like a stretch limo, but like a car like share a, limo, an airport limo on the way home from the airport on New Year's Eve because it was faster to fly or cheaper to fly. It's always cheaper to fly on a holiday. Yeah, and so like we miss New Year's for like several years. Not, I mean, first world problem. But I'm very excited to ha be able to celebrate uh, with our friends. It's gonna so, be yeah. a good show. Um, and this is a good time to say if you're watching us here, you probably already know to follow us on Twitter or on our mailing list or Facebook, because then you'll know when the next one of these is, um, and all of that stuff. Okay, we're gonna play a couple more songs, and then the show's gonna be over. This is true. I am glad you guys liked Joseph Scrimshaw. He's, He's very funny. He's got a great blog. He's got a great blog. Um, all right. Uh, okay. I'm going to move some stuff. Moving the stuff. Moving, 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 moving. So we get the full banana view. Full banana. Oh, can I do my thing, Robs? Do your thing. Um, I'm very warm, so I'm going to show you. Are you guys ready uh, for a very exciting... Oh, the reveal. Oh, my God! Look at her hair! It's green! Or turquoise. <laughs> it's really excellent. She kind of has had hair right now, but it's yeah, really great no, hair. Yeah, no, no, this is, I think, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go. Yeah! <laughs> Angela's got great hair. Good story. <laughs> the rest of the show is going to be Angela in a swivel chair. <laughs> Aubrey let me <laughs> use her, her purple swivel chair today. <laughs> All right, we're going to play just two more songs. I think we're going to play... We're going to reverse the order that's on the set. Oh, sounds great. <laughs> this next one, I think, is the most recent song we've written. Um, yes. I'll agree with that. Yay! Oh, they like my hair, Aubrey. <laughs> they haven't gotten to the part in the delay yet where I just keep showing it off. <laughs> okay, uh, this... Lucky them. <laughs> <laughs> this 
Some of them were saying how nice it was that we still got along, but they just don't know the truth. No. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it would look better, like more symmetrical. That didn't. It didn't. It didn't work. It's fine. It's. It's not fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give up. That's the message. Try. Uh, this is a song about growing up and, uh, and stuff. Here we go. Growing up isn't fast. In fact, it's so slow that you don't see it happen. I turned around one day to find. Am I playing the song wrong? I think it goes from that to the... See, growing up, sometimes you do stuff wrong, and that's why you have close friends to <laughs> put you on the right track. Hopefully for you, they will be dressed as a banana. Because that's really, who can you trust if not banana a person helper. in a banana costume playing a cello? That's right. Who tried to make a Pac-Man ghost very nicely I when, tried. while I was yelling at her <laughs> earlier today. Okay. You told me when you wear a banana costume. Remember you told me this? I don't remember. And you walk into a room, people just go, You're a banana! Oh, this is the best part. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> this is what happens. It's an exciting thing. Room full of strangers. They have something to say to you. It's, You're a banana! Yep. Okay, everybody, this is gonna be our last song. Uh, we will do this again next month. I don't know when yet, but we'll put it on Facebook and you'll be able to make requests. Uh, we just need a little time so we can rehearse. Yeah. God, I look so great. You do look great. <sighs> You're a natural monster. <laughs> really glad.
guide you over this level, Jerry. Da 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 da. That's the music. Yay! And uh, dun 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 dun. I'm gonna check Twitter one more time. Check in the Twitter. Oh, there are many more tweets. So many tweets. Do, 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 oh, good, Aubrey. Uh, what? Good news, everyone. You all like my hair. <laughs> good news. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, this is kind of like a cool scarf. Oh, yeah, now it's eating your neck. There you go. <laughs> I was realizing when we were playing Will They or Won't They, a song is about TV shows that, unlike all of them, I am rewatching on Netflix right now. While I'm knitting hats and doing other things that aren't really productive. Playing Plague Inc. Are you being productive? Did you want to hear my bitter story about Halloween that I haven't let go yet? Tell us. <laughs> One time my mom made me a really amazing Jasmine costume. It was amazing. It was amazing. And then amazing. it was cold and I had to wear a shirt under it. And But we had like bought a cloak like specifically like canon to the movie. Like we had made one out of fabric and then I couldn't find it because dad was using it as a dust cover for his no! mixing board. Um, and I'm still bitter and that's the kind of pain you use in your art people. Okay, so when you have just like the first worldiest of all problems. Um, you were dressed up as a Disney princess. Just as <laughs> we have pictures of that, like we don't have a lot of Halloween pictures. We have pictures of me dressed as Jasmine. I think you were Minnie Mouse that year. You were Minnie Mouse a lot. We had a good Minnie Mouse. Um, then uh, and then when I went to clown school, um, and I was my own clown, and I had uh, with my clown personality, I was wearing the Jasmine pants. Oh, those are good pants. And they're really they're just, you know like the green, more shiny. Yeah, mom did an amazing job. She did on that costume, like. It was so cool. <sighs> but I was okay kind of with the shirt I had to wear under it because it was a it was a Disney branded shirt and it's a Disney movie. Very Disney. I didn't think about that until just now. Very Disney? We're a very Disney family. We are a very Disney family. Mostly just Minnie and Mickey Mouse. I think the year I wore the awesome Belle costume, <clears throat> Mom made me. But we got all the way through trick-or-treating and we pulled into the carport and I threw up into my, <laughs> my pumpkin full of candy. That's my Halloween memory. <laughs> and I felt so much better. Yeah, because you had you eaten too much candy or were you just really Possibly sick? Eating candy and uh, spreading car sick communicable and all diseases. That's a great thing. Oh man, that's amazing. Um, yeah, I don't have like a great Halloween memory really. One time was when I was in college. Actually, that was pretty fun. One of my residents, I was an RA. One of my residents snuck into my room and stole my hoodie and dressed up like me for Halloween. That was weird, <laughs> uh, but awesome. They loved you. Yeah, I, my residents really liked me. Um, because I maybe wasn't a very good RA. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you have a good Halloween memory? Oh, and also this one time I dressed up as a banana. I went to a party where I didn't know anybody. <laughs> And every time I walked into a room, they said, you're a banana. You're a banana. It's the best. I am a banana. <laughs> um, uh, I was going to say, oh, when I was in college, my first year of college was the first year that Aubrey and I had lived apart. And Aubrey bought us matching wigs yes. from across the country yes. and sent it to me. And we wore those wigs in our Want You Gone video um, that we just posted, which was like, it was very cool because we... We had we were we grew up in the same house and it's like hard to get along with people when you see them all the time. But then we got really close when I was in college and that's like the first item I have to really remember that by. That was cool. We had blue and orange wigs that happened to be portal colors. Aubrey, how did you know? Hi. All right, this is just gonna kind of be a permanent accessory, I think. This is good. This is gonna be good. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we do this every month. We are the Double Clicks, and we really like you. Oh, I just got a text message. Uh, big thanks to Sarah Donner and Joseph Scrimshaw. Sarah and her settlers of Katanzong. You should find her at sarahdonner.com, Joseph Scrimshaw, and his amazing stories. Uh, you should really follow him on Twitter. He's the, the funniest. And yes. back him on Patreon if you want to support people making awesome, hilarious things. Um, and... Uh, Last time I did a wrap-up about what we learned 
banana costume. I think that's the, really the main yeah. thing. If you learned one thing from tonight, <laughs> banana cello, that was a very funny joke, you guys. And um, You don't get to make it very often. Yeah, and so thank, I, th I feel like we did some good. <laughs> I did, we did some good work. <laughs> um, Aubrey, why don't you take us out on a, on, a, on a song that might be appropriate for Halloween because yes. it's nighttime. It is nighttime, and so I'm going to sing the lullaby I wrote a few years ago. Uh, when I wrote this lullaby, I brought it to Angela and played it for her. She gave me some tips. She said that is beautiful and charming and lovely, peaceful, I think she said. Uh, and she also said, I can fix it. I can fix it. Like Bob the Builder. This is a lullaby for Mr. Bear. Thank you for joining us. I'm pushing the red See button. See you next time.